So I found a story in here before I went to the psych ward in November the 23rd, whatever. My body began to vibrate laying in my bed, and in my mind's eye, there was a stargate that I was helping to protect, which connected to an unprotected space, which was littered with invasive energy. We were tasked to create a barrier in this outer zone to establish a base for future operations. The vessel our universe was in needed to be cleaned out. The tool we used looked like a rod where it would generate a field to create a stable environment. It was a Tesla designed tool. The first wave of soldiers would go in and establish this conscious field with the rod. Later, bringing in equipment to establish the base. I was tasked to hold this conscious field with my energy after it was constructed. It was important for me to prevent attackers from breaching this barrier. I experienced face fluctuations between my eyes which felt like I was holding the tree of life grid with my entire body. It put enormous stress on my body as my heart rate would skyrocket where I needed to focus and breathe deeply in and out. At points it felt like I was going to lose my existence. We built these these uh, diamond light bodies real small first and then we like mastered the blueprint and then we imported it into our own energy field so like we were able you know like we were able to charge fields in our diamond light but they were just like little bubbles and stuff and we were we, we were trying to make this into a macro system so it was it was like a micro system these humans are small and stuff so like we were able you know we we had the blueprint in our body everything was complete but we were we had to make it bigger and we wanted to make it universal so that's what we were doing is you know and that's why they had me do a lot of stuff because i was like i was like perfect i was, you know after the kundalini waking and everything like my my blueprint was complete so they were using me to all this work because I had like all the codes and stuff. Like I was still missing stuff, but like the diamond, the diamond blueprint was there, and we were, and then we were just collecting all these creators and incorporating it into the diamond light and introducing codes back into it. So when we made this whole system, it's conducive for everyone that created some form of energy that is used to create like diamond light wow the diamond light it's like an adaptable energy like it it tries to figure out how to um break down certain energies and stuff so it, it can exist in the cohesive field and that's why there's like golden strands inside the, the energy lines and everything because the golden energy will like pierce through any sort of field and then it will like program it so it's compatible that might be one of the reasons why i was down so far in the abyss like that's probably why i was tasked to go into the abyss because like we had to learn how to deprogram this shit and they knew that like even if i went so deep there would be a point where i would just start sitting and meditating and breaking through and then they can finally get to me and then all the information that I collected, it was like, it was like energy, like deep, there's like deep abyss energy research. And then I, then I would come up and then like, I would send all the information back. And then if they needed me to do more, more like research and stuff, I would just like raise my hand and do it and everything. And oh my God, I'm getting chills. And yeah, like, they call me the maverick. <laughs> I don't know, like, I always know that I can get back, even if I'm gone for so long. And, like, people are so surprised. Like, man, I'm fucking, like, Master Chief. Oh, my God, all my, all my, all my personas. Master Chief, fucking Doom, like, they're all fucking coming in my head right now. What the fuck's going on? I feel you. I'm trying to look at your profile, like, I, like, sense your energy. Oh, my God, I'm getting, like, ignited. I'm not starting to get boners. <laughs> oh, my God, I was such a fucking wild man. I can see why you liked me up there. Like, I, like, I, I just see all these women, like, gushing, get fucking... 
jealous. And then like, oh, it's, it's <laughs> and I always return back to you. <laughs> I'm like remembering the wild fucking sex we had, like. I was just unmatched, like just explosions of matter. We would, oh, we, oh yeah, we would, we would blow out our fucking bedroom doors and stuff sometimes because like we would just like, like our energy would explode out and stuff, and like every everyone would get so mad because <laughs> we would wake everyone up because like the fucking doors would, like blow out. <laughs> Uh, I remember, I remember seeing people with their fucking pills. Like, not again, fuckers. <laughs> After reading the entry about having sex with Christy, my energy was really high, and then I just had an explosive coughing spree. And then once I started coughing, then more memories started surfacing that was connected to whatever I just released. I had this like fist that would like work with my energies and it would light up gold and I would use it to punch people. Like I would like, I would like fly at them and I would just like punch them really fucking hard. It was, yeah, with my left arm because I'm left handed. I was so impressed with my abilities like Holy fuck, like, I was it. I was like the one. I just remember seeing like these elders like judging my abilities, like when we would fight in like arenas and stuff like that. And... Oh my god. I'm getting something really deep. I began to cough again, releasing more trauma, and then more memories started surfacing. Now I'm getting shivers. I'm starting to cry. Wow. It's like the honor, the things, the things to, that we did to do all this. Oh, my, my, my body just got hot. Like, I'm, I put on, I'm like watching some Top Gun clips and my eyes just started like pulsating with energy and just like, that's me. Everyone loved me. They were like, ghosty, ghosty, go with me. Do it, do it. And I'm like, ah! nothing stopped me. Nothing stopped me. I just wanted it back. I wanted everything back. I remembered what the fuck happened. I remember when we, we, we did it. And all my commanders, everyone just like blew out in like tears. They're like, he did it. Oh my God. He fucking did it. Like. That's why I hear command center like cheering all the time. Because they're just like, holy fuck. Fuck, this kid is incredible. Holy fuck, I'm on a Lincoln Park binge and my fucking energy body is just skyrocketing through the fucking roof. My pineal gland is like, like firing off again now, like my crown. And I feel like the diamond light again, like blasting through and like, I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God, this is what like, I feel so fucking good right now. Like, like I feel like I'm like, like I'm back almost, like I'm there. Like, that was the trauma piece right there, was like writing that down, like, holy fuck. I get in now, figured out what I was tricked. Um, someone sent me out to do a mission, but then they sealed me away, thinking I'd never ever return. And that person right now is freaking the fuck out because. And he's, he's running. He just keeps running and running and running. Because he knows his time is up. Because the truth is out. And um, he lied about everything. And uh, and I had to become evil and everything to claw my way back. Like I was just trying to find the energy systems to get back up. And I made it out. And I was tricked. 
That was the trick. The oh, I just got a memory of you. You were in like a white uniform, and I put an insigma on your right shoulder, and then I put my hand on your shoulder, and it's like you look so good. And then like we were, we like had to go to different stations, and then like you ran. Like like we were like, we were, like we were in a hurry, so we're like, you had black hair. Um. Oh, you made me so proud. You really ate, you overcame a lot of stuff out there. And I was so proud of you. Mm, my God, I'm like crying right now.